young man decides to pull out a gun. Now he's got an ankle monitor on. Right. Shoots through the door. Mm. The two young ladies, he came over to the quote unquote safe. He killed one of them. The other one is paralyzed for the rest of her life. Now, <coughs> now I, I, I'm, I'm saying this is what I say about progressive. Now, also, the car he came over there in, he brought him back to court again within a week. He carjacked somebody for early that morning. Mm. Now, what I'm saying is, they do progress. They do grow up in the cities. They do recidivize. We're just here to find out how can we stop this as a community as a whole. We see the ugly side of a lot of the society. But we're here because we don't want to project an ugly side. We want to try to bring it together. That man that came and seen me about once several times. Somebody said the kids have no fear. You're right, they have no fear. They go on social media and they post lick. I just pulled a lick. They got the, the, right. the guns. Right. They got the mask on. Right. All of that. And it's rolling on social media. You're right. Social media has made this generation grow up a whole lot quicker than it should have. It's supposed to a whole lot more things than it should have. I have a 15 year old son, well, excuse me, he's 14, he'll be 15 in summer, and I talked to him about making the correct choices. Bad decisions gonna put you where you don't wanna be. Hang around people. I said, you gotta learn to grow up on the pool. Because it seems like the cool thing nowadays is getting caught up in trouble. I don't know what that is about this generation, that no fear factor. It converts to no fear of us when we're trying to come there and handle a situation. We don't always want to come off as the bad guy. That's how we're labeled. Mm -hmm. We're here to help everybody. But if you already come off as, as uh, being aggressive because of hate, they come in here about me, he ain't did nothing wrong, he ain't got nothing to worry about. But if somebody in the car and find that complaint, you know what you did or got caught up in? We could work this out, but you got to be willing to work this out. But because of something else that got you to where you are with that mindset, now we're here at the place we are now. I'm here because I'm trying to, to like he, this gentleman said, we're trying to reach out to the community. Because if it wasn't, we wouldn't be here. You got it? Um, I want to say, first of all, uh, Stand up, Mr. so that was true. First of all, I just thank all the cops and everybody for coming out. Um, I think that the best uh, the way that we can solve the problem has already been said, which is me to say it starts at home. I think there never, ain't nothing better we can do to start at home. I think if we start at home, it'll be better. And also, I want to mention something about, um, I seen on the news it was a while ago, and I don't know if this is bad, but they were going to start arresting parents when the kids got 